or Soderbloom, whatever it is. The guy's a ginormous human being. But the point is, I don't want to get hurt again. Or are you just open to love and you're saying to hell with it and let's party. We're all in on optimism. I'd love to add that to the mix today. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Rico, where are you at with it? Well, I mean, I think unfortunately the Pistons are going to be like every other team in this city where you're just hoping that they can achieve enough that they are not mathematically eliminated from the playoffs in the first month. That you're hoping that they can maybe scrape the bottom of the playoff barrel and be interesting, be in the graphic, as we like to say. I think that Cade will take a step. I'm not really concerned about the preseason stuff. I I mean, I heard people, they can't play any defense. Guys, it's preseason. Seriously, you're hoping not to get injured. That's it. And they already got one of their players injured. So I think that, yeah, I want to see how Cade, I really want to see how Jaden Ivey matures with this team because I think that he could be the key. If if you got that backcourt of Ivey and Cade Cunningham, that could be the backcourt of the future for this Detroit team. What role will Jay Nivey play? Is he just going to be a distributor? Is he going to step up and be a scorer? Can he become that second guy and and let Sadiq become guy number option number three? You know, and 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 uh, uh, Duran. You know, what's he going to do? Is he going to really kind of redshirt this year, or is he actually going to contribute to the team? He's the youngest player in the NBA, so. He's on the thin side, so let's see what the Pistons look, do with him. Here's the other thing, too. And, look, you make a point about Jaden Ivey, and nobody's been more right about him than you. The one thing I would caution people, it's easier for a guy to walk into a role that's defined. And it's tough for young guys when it's, hey, you're the team leader, you initiate the offense, you're the point guard. I'm not saying that's easy. I'm saying in many cases it's easier than Jaden Ivey walking into a situation where he's not the primary ball handler, but he's also not the off-ball two guard. He's kind of both. And that's an adjustment. It's not only an adjustment from high school or AAU to college, but college to pro. And then look, Cade is also a different type of guard where Cade can play off-ball. And you're going to have to do this dance, so to speak, that together, hey, you're on, I'm off, I'm off, you're on. You know, then the team has to figure out, okay, hey, this guy's rolling. This is how we're going to approach it. Or what are we doing late game? Who initiates? Who goes off ball? That takes time to figure out. And look, I'm I'm thrilled they have Jaden, but I think people are probably getting a little ahead of themselves thinking that, oh, there's our backcourt. It's the sex land backcourt from Cleveland last year, and it's all going to be snappy and delicious. And I just don't. Yeah. I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. I, I got to give these kids some time. Yeah, and I, and I think that's where we're at right now. But my goodness, I probably just lost every listener getting geeky with hoops. No, you just didn't, Mike. But it, I think trying to sell patience and time to Detroiter, g- g- good luck because they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear, "Oh, great, so yet another season where I have to sit and wait till." next year and don't have any expectations but yeah i I think with the wings and the pistons my just don't be out of it at the end of the first month like the tigers and the lions were or are so basically rico's saying please don't open up two and 18 yeah come christmas let's not all sit there and man i can't wait to spring training no see see you know what (laughs) At this point with the Pistons, take my heart out, tear it apart, shatter it. I'm all in. Okay? I'm not waiting till next year. I want this year to be it. And if my heart gets broken, my heart gets broken. But I'm all in with Cade. I'm all in with Jaden. I'm so, all in so with what is So what is that, David? Oh, they're going to win, in my mind, in my heart, 42 games. 42 games gets what? them... To the eighth what? Team. No, no, Mike. He, he's allowed. That's what I want. Okay. He's, That's he's what all in. I want. Okay. Uh, I mean, maybe he does have the pipeline to God because that's what it'll take. He, he to get got Cade here. Remember, David said, "God, I want Cade." 
David, you got that's it. That's what I want. If I remember correctly, the play-in, the 10th the seed had like, what, 37 wins? So you got to be around that mark to get in the play-in. I don't want the play-in. I want the number oh, seven seed. Ah. Uh. Kenny's you okay. jump, Kenny, you, what, Kenny, what do you feel about the Pistons? You're jumping in here. Well, I don't know a single basketball <laughs> player. You better ask him about something on ice. Well, no, Sonnenberger. That's what I was going to say though. Is I'm right there with the Wings. I'm expecting 40 plus wins. I think me and David have a bet saying which team is going to win more games. And I think if he's pulling down 40 wins, I'm pulling down at least 41, 42. So with the loser, They're different has- sports. That's not how it works. That's the bet though. So what, the loser has to go to the other team's game? It's a lunch bet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I stand, solid. I stand corrected. 43 wins was the number 10 seed in the East last year. So they year. still wouldn't make it. They still wouldn't at 42, but I think 42 so great. can get them there. You're not going to make oh the playoffs, and you're probably going to be out the first round pick as Tear well. Tear my heart apart. I'm uh, fine. Okay. Tear it apart. I'm all in. I'd love to hear from the people on this. 248-539-9797. Are you approaching the secondary teams in this town, because let's face it, Lions and Tigers are one and one A. Pistons and Red Wings, young, exciting. The rebuilds are well underway. We feel like there could be a little bit of a jump here. Are you approaching it more cautiously based on how the Lions have stepped on your nuts and how the Tigers threw you down a flight of stairs? Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. 